Lifting family, welcome back. So we have another review this morning. So this one is actually going to be on a little bit more of the video editing side. So just trying to do some slight enhancements, things that are pretty simple and, and cheap. So these lights were actually $15 and they basically just plug in via USB. But the other thing that I wanted to try and just see see what the results are and if it works, it works. If it doesn't, I think the, the product was $25, but I'll link it down below and you can pick it up from Amazon, but it is this chroma key sheet. With this, obviously if you've watched videos, you've seen chroma key and you've seen the abilities that you can do when it comes to video editing, or if you watched a movie, I mean, chances are they're doing a lot with chroma key. So just a, a green backdrop, so something that you can isolate and then pull out, and then you can throw whatever you want over top of that. So, well, I mean, we will, see what happens so i'm gonna back this camera up and then we're gonna pop this one up on the wall it does come with some clips so that i can hang this up and then depending on how the setup works we'll either keep doing them in here or we might end up moving it out to the to the kids play area i just i want to see what this looks like and see how clean the chroma key works especially because some of the wrinkles might end up throwing off some of the colors so we'll see some of the sensitivities that the adobe premiere elements has when it comes to pulling this out of the color Remember to click like on this video if you like videos like this. Comment down below if you have any questions. Do also remember to click subscribe. I'm gonna get this one popped up right now and then we'll come back with whatever we've got for results. All right, so you are in between my power rack right now. This is the best angle that I could get to be able to hang up the green screen. And when I was getting the green screen, I didn't really think about hanging it. Um, so, this needed some, some modifications. So essentially I just went to Facebook Marketplace and then found a studio backdrop. So my one plan was to use just conduit because I think for a 10 foot piece, it was like 16, 17 bucks. So I was gonna do that and then went on Facebook and found a studio backdrop. So I've actually got some stands that I could use later, but with how I want this set up, I just want a curtain that kind of moves back and forth. The, the the whole kit was 20 bucks, so that worked out well for me. And then I have those stands if I need them later. But I'm gonna now put up the the backdrop here so that you can kind of see. I'm gonna pop this up. Click like in this video if you also are someone like me where you plan something and then it requires like four or five other steps. So. All right. So this is a 10 by 12, so 10 feet long by 12 feet tall. I was just trying to make sure that it was something that was gonna be tall enough for the, for the ceiling. And then as far as length, if I needed some level of being able to kind of like step on it just a little bit, we wouldn't really have a problem there so that it would kind of cover the floor just a little bit. But outside of that, let's try to see what we can do with some chroma key. So we have the clips, the bag actually did rip a little bit but that was actually from when it shipped so that is fine these are just basically like something that comes with a, like a sheet set for bed sheets and then these clips actually are for retaining the the sheet so that if you need them to be stretched they can actually stretch the actual stand that i picked up on Facebook, I believe they actually sell on Amazon as well, but it's it's an E-Mart uh, backdrop kit, so it's basically just the, the cross beam and then the, the two stands, but this is not a review on that, so we together will see exactly how well this works. So what I kind of want to figure out is with you know some of the wrinkling here, and we've got some shadowing, so we've got the shadow back here like how how well does that work and then in terms of some movement here gonna kind of get some movement that's gonna happen because with chroma keying like catching the image along the edge is something that can be difficult with both some editors because of how they're they're capturing the the actual chroma keying portion, but also 
with just making sure that as far as the backdrop and some again these wrinkles to where the color might not be exact that we'll see exactly what happens so I don't know what this is gonna look like until I edit the video and with how I edit videos I, I kind of like to just get into it and, and get it done and so in terms of this review I'm not sure of how well this is gonna turn out so what I'm gonna do is basically just post it on the screen probably right here or maybe somewhere up here then you can kind of know exactly what my thoughts are and then maybe some of the like the, the pros and cons or like some some of the the good things over here and if there are any bad things I'll, I'll comment with them over here but outside of that like this video if you like videos like this comment down below if you have any questions do also please remember to click that subscribe button I appreciate all your subscribers out there outside of that thank you for watching and as always keep pushing